Think of Labor Day, you may think of big sales, especially on the car lots, but are you really getting the best deal if you're braving this triple digit heat that is coming our way this weekend? There in your side, Susan Campbell has some advice to help you navigate a very different shopping experience because of the pandemic. Yeah, we're used to these uh, Labor Day sales popping up and you're used to enjoying them uh, in a normal situation, but this is anything but normal that we're living through right now. Yeah, just like everything, even car shopping has changed. So most car dealerships are offering some sort of contactless services. So if you're planning to check out any of those car deals, you can expect everything from virtual vehicle walkthroughs to at-home test drives and over-the-phone negotiations. You may also be able to expect a really good deal if you have a good trade-in. Right now, there's a shorter-than-usual supply of cars, and dealerships want to get more used cars back on their lots. Those dealers, they're feeling pressure to refill their inventories, particularly their used car inventories, uh, and they see trade-ins as a, a huge opportunity to do that. And so shoppers can leverage this, what basically is a supply and demand problem, to get a better offer on their trade-in vehicle. That's Matt Smith from CarGurus.com. He says there are a couple reasons for that supply and demand problem. First, when the pandemic started, production on new cars stopped and new inventory is still lower than usual. Second, he says auction houses that typically supply a large portion of used cars have scaled back reconditioning services, which means fewer used cars are available too. So to put it simply, if you, if you have a car to trade in today, particularly if it's popular car, something like the RAV4, or the Ford F-150, the Chevrolet Silverado, uh, you might find that your local dealership is willing to pay you more for that car today than they would have a year ago. Here are a couple specific examples. CarGurus.com says in March, a 2017 Ford F-150's value was $28,541. Fast forward to August, it jumped to more than $32,000. That's a 13% increase. Here's another one, a 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee. In March, it was valued at $26,683. In August, 27489 bucks, which is a 3% increase. Now, if you are car shopping this holiday weekend, you want to do some research first. Smith says lenders have really tightened up um, what's available. So you want to do some research on the financing before you go to the car lot, whether it's virtual or in person, just to know what kind of financing you're going to be able to qualify for. Because some people who may have qualified six months ago aren't going to get the same interest rates that they would now.